Hi everyone, thanks again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. Today we're getting rid of your flat shoulder plane. Let's go and have a look with some more game changing golf coaching. So flat shoulder plane is going to lead uh, to quite a few issues for you, especially to do with connecting with the ball and for directional control. So what's happening when you're swinging the club back, if you have got a flat shoulder plane, once you set up here, we're seeing this left shoulder will be working upwards into this sort of position so that you're getting more of a horizontal look in your shoulders now ideally we need to keep the shoulders on plane so if we've got this white pole out basically as the target line here ideally as i rotate if i've set my posture really well and i've created an axis angle with my spine there if i rotate around that axis my shoulders should tilt downwards not because I'm making that happen, just because I'm holding my spine angle and rotating around it. So my shoulder line, when I get to the top of the swing, wants to look more tilted down. We certainly don't want to get into horizontal position like this. That shoulder's worked up too much. The spine axis is now straightened up. And you get this kind of uh, look if you're using your arms a little bit too much in the swing and not driving the back swing and especially the takeaway, the start of that swing from the body. So I'll put a link into the video here to help you with an exercise uh, that will get that happening. But again, you could just work on just to get the feeling of it. If you go into posture, we'll uh, set an athletic posture. If you put your arms out like this, if you're going to rotate round, we want to rotate this way with the body and then come back through with the body so that the shoulder line is still towards the ball rather than this way. Because now we're going to have an issue with connection. If we've moved up this way, if you don't tilt forward again, you're going to have air shots or really hit the top of the ball uh, and, and thin the ball a lot. Uh, and similarly with um, directional control, if you've worked your way up here and then instead of being able to rotate through the ball on the downswing, you're having to tilt back this way. So you're going to have a fight now with the club not coming over the top. So it really does cause us a lot of issues. Okay, here's a good little tip to help you improve that. So if you have a body warmer or a gilet, um, just pop that on and then take an alignment pole and you can feed that through the back of the gilet so that uh, you can then swing, so we'll just even that up, so we can then swing with that pole indicating to us where we're tilting with our upper body. If you don't have a gilet or a body warmer, you could do this with two elastic bands if you just pull them up to the top of the shoulder so they're sitting this way on the shoulder, on either shoulder, and again, just feed that through. But now what we should be able to work on is once we've gone into posture here, so we want to work on that feeling of taking the club away by pulling the handle away, which have a look at the other video that I've put into uh, the link into this video to help you with that takeaway. Rather than turning the club this way, rolling the hands open, opening the face. So we're going to take the club back like this. And then you can see that that pole is tilted downwards rather than getting more horizontal with the ground. And get it tilted down. It doesn't have to point exactly at the ball, but we want it down into that area, maybe a foot to the far side of the ball, but we certainly want it, don't want it up into this position here. That will really help you with that feeling. And then you can work on that back swing, how that feels to get there. And then similarly, when you swing through, rotate that pole back towards the target rather than it moving upwards, rotate back towards the target. You're gonna strike the ball and then you'll notice that the pole rotates back down towards the target there as you come through. You can hit with that in if you want to. There's no issue with that at all. It'll give you a lot of feedback. Again, if uh, your gilet is just not quite tight enough and you find the pole sliding a little bit, then just put the elastic bands on because it'll hold you in position, but it'll get you hitting much, much better. Keep the posture, keep the spine axis as you rotate round. You're going to hit a lot better and strike much, much better.
So have a go at that the next time that you're on the practice ground to get that feeling of how it feels to rotate, maintaining that spine angle, get rid of that flat shoulder plane. You'll hit much better golf shots. It's a game-changing golf tip.